Have you ever looked at an Aboriginal Australian dot painting and then look at a circuit board? <laughs> you'll, when you look, you'll see they look very similar. But the similarities go deeper than that. A circuit board uses zeros and ones to transfer a message. A painting uses dots and spaces to convey a message so complex and intricate than can be given by any circuit board. But this painting also looks like a piece of fibre optics. The infrastructure we use today to transmit, communicate at the speed of light. Light. The future is so full of light. It gives us the ability to communicate with everything around us, whether that's a person, a program, or thing. Light fills our very soul. Light is what connects us. And fibre optics replicates in a completely manual way the way my ancestors, Aboriginal Australian people, the way we communicated way back when we communicated over long distances, Australian Aboriginal people, 65,000 years of unbroken culture, 65,000 years to connect with everything and everywhere, 65,000 years or 3,200 generations. 3,200 generations of gained knowledge. I am but just the smallest essence of the greatness that were my ancestors. But it is enough. I've only got what I know to go on to bring the light back to my communities. Fibre optics. My community needs fibre optic infrastructure. And do you know what? We can build it ourselves. Imagine that. All First Nation communities building their own infrastructure. And then we can join them. And then we can share knowledge the way my ancestors shared knowledge. We can walk our own path, not a path that has been set by others. We can make our own decision. We can actually unite our communities through communication. 18 years ago, I started a company called Fibre Optics North Queensland. I seen the light. And you know what? We're the very best at what we do. It is absolutely part of our culture. Our respect for people, our respect for lands and seas, and definitely our respect for profit. And everyone was taught from scratch with a great belief that we need to teach the next generation to be better than us. 13, 12, 11 years, my senior management, I am so proud of that, so proud that I was able to share knowledge so that the next generation can be better than me. This is not the first time I've done something outside the box. In 1985, <laughs> I became the first Aboriginal woman to be an electrician. And it was hard. 
It was so hard, but my prayers have been answered. There are laws out now, laws that say it's not okay to sexually house a young girl. There's laws out that it's not okay to call a young woman names just because the colour of her skin. It's not okay and I thank you so much for those laws because no young woman will ever have to go through what I went through and I am so blessed that I went through it because I would have not gained the knowledge I need to to work in this industry, the ICT industry. But what can you do with a good infrastructure like that? What are the practical things you can do? Well, you can start with better health. Because you know what? When I'm sick, I want access to the very best health care there is. I want you to come to me virtually. Then I want you to start practicing preventative medicine. We got Bluetooth devices. Take my blood pressure. Take my sugar. Ground me if I don't take my tablets. But please allow me to do some, this somewhere that I feel safe, that we should all feel safe. Allow me to do this in my home. What about better education? Online training. What the heck? In this day and age, why can I not learn what I want to learn, where I want to learn it, and from who I want to learn it from? What about prosperity? Prosperity is different for everyone and every community. But this is my prosperity. In the future, I will have the best, freshest produce delivered right to my doorstep. If I want fish tonight, I'm going to go. My APA, or Artificial Personal Assistant, is going to order that fish from a catch that just happened on the Torres Strait this morning. That fish is going to be packed for optimum freshness. And that fish is going to be on an electric air carrying vessel, however it may look, and it's going to be at my door in eight hours. So my beautiful APA will cook that fish exactly how I want that fish cooked. That could be a future. But statistics, I'm not going to live that long. My heart, my soul cannot take so much sorry business. I lost an auntie this morning. We have got to stop this. We are dying way too young. We haven't got enough time to get knowledge, let alone pass that knowledge on. But I can do something. I can help build something. We, me, I can help build something. Something. For the leaders not yet born, I am only an essence of the greatness that are my ancestors. But I can build something. So our future unborn leaders will have the chance to have the greatness that are their ancestors. Bless. Thank you for listening.